Well, the athletes are warming up backstage for the clean and jerk. This is the women's 69 kilo category. We've already had the snatch and uh, clean and jerk is coming up shortly. This is the results from the snatch. Rio on Hui of the People's Republic of Korea. 120 at the top ahead of Chen. Bit of a surprise that. And uh, Zappa called the young Kazakh in third. Further on down the order. A lot of lifters who were in the B, even C group there. I'm afraid that Jenny Arthur of the USA down in 15th. She's the lowest placed of those who took part in the A group after snatch. Anyway, this has got a great clean and jerk. Here are the current standings of the clean and jerk, and these are all athletes. Natasha Purdue down there. It's good to see down in 10th position. Having lifted these lifters from the B, C, D group. And Three out of three for Natasha Purdue. That's a very solid from a British lifter. Yep, three out of three lifts. Great lifting. Good to see. Here comes the Armenian striding onto the stage. We expected to see her first. She had posted the lowest entry into this clean and jerk competition, remember? Rising bar, three lifts only allowed. And 120. Matched by Jenny Arthur. I expect to see Arthur come out and do this too. Waste no time, but a little of a bend on the right arm there. Yeah, I think she'd be okay with that. It was soft rather than a press out. And what we see quite often. Uh, from lifters that have been off the platform for a couple of years it is a lack of leg strength and this is what we're seeing here from Delusion. Uh, her personal best is a 145. So here we've only got 120. She's significantly down on the best weights ever and that's purely down to lack of leg strength. Her right arm does not have a fabulous lockout. And well, it's all right as long as you don't flex your arm. As long as it doesn't unbend and you press it back again. So, the American, Jenny Arthur. We are still 11 kilograms away from the best of the B-group lifters. Mas Salieva of Uzbekistan hit 131. Arthur's done 128 at her best at the Pan Am Champs. Stands up easily. Good drive to arm's length, just holds that split position while she steadies herself. That looked pretty comfortable strength-wise. I imagine she'll probably go up to 125. That's what Delusian has opted for. See the position there, nice and straight from the bar, through the shoulders, down through the hips. Back knee was bent to allow the hips to remain underneath the bar. Good technical lifting. 125 being called for by the MC. Ooh, Maya Meneza coming in. One, two, three. So the Olympic champion has brought her expected start down slightly she did do three out of three in the snatch 95 100 105 and she is we believe just going through the motions well, she might be laser there doing a clean and jerk in the warm-up room so she's definitely not coming out she has gone up and uh, it is now back to uh, Melina de Lugian. one two five would only bring her up to fourth because of the solid lifting from the B group in the clean and jerk. So 131. It's a big weight from a B group. It's not a great lock at all, is it? But it wasn't a deliberate press out, so again, I think she'll be safe. She should get it, yes, 125. I 
into an army lifter, really pulling the bar all the way up. Big drive, a bit short on the on the drive. But nonetheless, it's a good lift. from the USA now. Coming out for the same weight, 125, second attempt. She's now starting to push a lot closer to her best, 128. It's the weight that she'll be looking to at least equal or hopefully surpass. This will take her up to a total of 223 kilograms and into seventh overall. Great leg strength. Oh, very, very short on the drive, trying to push with her arms. If you try and push on that jerk too early, your legs can't fire effectively. You get it halfway up and then stop. The aim is to drive with the legs through your starting position and then split nice and wide and drop them lower to catch it. See here. Long arm, hey. Just never went to arm's length. Yes, yeah, you can do with uh, losing six inches off her arms. <laughs> it would make her life a bit easier. Just drive more of the legs and not try and push, and she'll have a much, much better chance. It's a bit of a contradiction, this sport. You feel like you need to get the bar higher, so therefore you've got to try and give it a bit more with your upper body. But that's not the case. As soon as the upper body kicks in, the lower body cannot be as effective, and the lower body is far stronger. There is Maya Meneza. Treated like royalty around here, the Olympic champion. Masalieva of Uzbekistan still leads with that great three out of three from the B group. 1-3-1. One, one. The coach is just, she would have been the next lifter out, but the coach is saying, no, just hang on. Arthur from uh, the US still has one lift remaining, having failed that previous attempt. She's following herself for two minutes. And it, it does mess the other lifters up when, when an athlete fails a lift, if they are following themselves, because instead of the competition flowing and lifters moving through, there's a lot more of a hold-up. It appears that Arthur's gone up in weight for her third attempt, buy herself a bit more time to recover. Just to bring out Sparkle of Kazakhstan for her first attempt. Personal best, 145. She's 126 on the bar. Well, you imagine this will be comfortable. She took things easy in the snatch. Almost like she was giving the crowd a show here. Ooh, slight wobble on her right arm, but it was pretty comfortable, wasn't it? Well, again, not, not a great elbow lock. Very, very soft overhead, but it wasn't any flexion or extension. It was just a soft lock, so that's OK. Not every lifter has really good elbow lock overhead. Just lacking... A bit of extension with the hip joint needs to engage her glutes a bit more. Drives through the bar, but covers no problem. And again, a lifter that's been off the international stage for a couple of years, uh, simply lacking leg strength. Well, Jenny Arthur coming back out for her third and final. She's gone up a kilogram to buy herself a little bit of time there. And this is below her personal best. It's been a while since we've had any really great American weightlifters. John Davis, Tommy Kono from back in the day at the World Championships. A couple of the, the best of all time. Amazingly, America's still number three in the all-time medal tables, but this is the first American lifter we've had here at the World Champs in the A group. Does she finish in style? Oh! Well, it was a better attempt, much more leg drive, but just backing off from the bar, not fully committing to getting her body underneath. She's going to be disappointed, left back on 120. Back to the gym, back to the training. Hopefully come back stronger, more powerful next time. <laughs> Here comes 
comes Milka Maneva, the Bulgarian. Or is it? Suddenly it's flashed over to the Colombian, who I hope is ready. Here, Maneva had gone up to 129, so presumably the Colombians flashed up and gone higher. It just hasn't come on the scoreboard yet. Here we go. Yes, Maneva is being forced out. Unless she wants to go heavier, which she clearly doesn't. This is her opener then, 129. It's a really good, solid attempt. Had to work hard on the clean, but you're quite right. She doesn't want to go any heavier than the 129. Her personal best is 131. So this was starting or pushing the, the, the limits from the word go. Remember, Milka has come up from 63 category up to 69, so I'm expecting to see some improvement here today. Increased body weight should convert to extra muscle. Really nice underneath the bar, nice and straight. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't a spare ounce on her at the lighter category. She's still looking in great shape, Maneva. Solid Arbolida, 130 kilograms. Big clean and jerker, great leg power, the Colombian. Just lost her cool a little bit in the snatch, failed the first two efforts. It looks much more aggressive now, and I think she needs to be. Hit her hard at the bottom, but use the bounce to stand. Nice, solid position overhead. It's a great example of how effective her legs were on the jerk. Didn't try pushing. Confident drive and a catch. Yeah, that was... Uh, I mean, you can just see how aggressive she is, shouting away on the stage. So mad at herself for losing the first two efforts in a snatch, and that is good. And you have to be aggressive. The way, the way that came down hard at her, if you're half-hearted, that's a big weight coming down Oof. on the top of your chest. <laughs> These girls now are after 130 kilos. I reckon they're probably good for front squats of around 160, maybe 170 at this body weight. Squats probably 170, 180. One or two, we may see close to a 200 squat in training. There's Maya Meneza still looking so casual and calm. The Lugian to make three out of three here. 130, having started all the way down at 120. Her best ever. 145. 145. So not in that kind of shape. You can see it's written all over her face that this, right now in her career, is a big, big weight. Well, she came marching out onto the platform. I thought for a minute she was running short on time, but no, just wants to get on with it. Does she have the legs? No competitions for a couple of years on the international stage. See the body shaking. She'll do well to jerk that. Wow, that was quite a performance. That See, uh, I don't think I've seen anyone battle up a front squat quite like that all uh, world championships. And when you do try that hard, it takes so much effort out, doesn't it? It does. And, and this is just a lifter that's rusty from the international stage, just doesn't have the leg strength required for these kind of weights. Made the clean far too hard. Rounded back, not great for risk and injury. Watch the body shaking. That's the kind of stress that she's under. The scar on her right elbow there. I could explain the uh, poor lockout. She may have had a dislocation in the past. Surgery by the looks of it. But that's her competition over. She finishes with 125. Maya Meneza getting called out for her second. Oh, she's and she's jogging onto the platform. Clock says 41 seconds. She's got plenty of time. I think she's just been sitting down uh, 
Yeah, quite, quite possibly. This could just be, come on, let's get these legs firing. She's been waiting for her turn. Wants to get on with it. Well, here are great levers for weightlifting. The Olympic champion. Oh, that's the first lift she's missed. And uh, still smiling. She's not here looking for medals. I, I don't think so anyway. You, you can see she's really very relaxed about all this. She hasn't competed since London. You are the Olympic champion. Suddenly, it's going to be interesting to see how she reacts to the third and final. She's not going to take it lying down, I'm sure. Uh, Milka Maneva now. Came out for 1 3 2. Success at 1 2 9 already. Needs to stand. Oh, working super hard. This is a personal best attempt by one kilo. Much more comfortable overhead than she was in the clean. It's two out of two. I'm so used to seeing her in the under 63s. One, two, one at last year's Europeans. Steps up that little bit of extra body weight. It's given her the power. she'll go to next one three two she's conquered now she has one lift left i don't think we'll see much more than one two three one two four i'm not sure she's got the legs to stand with much more than that so uh, i expected the uh, colombian to come out there uh, but uh, it looks like it's maya meneza is going to be going up a weight but uh, i guess the colombian has two, so it's back to Maya Meneza at 1-3-3. They just missed 1-3-2. The Olympic champion give them a thrill. Our home fans. Oh, no, she won't get that. No, she surely can't get that. Movement in both elbows, the right one unlocked first. And she knows it. Yes, that Dr. Nee knows that he's not getting that one. He's enjoying himself anyway. Probably saying a big thank you there for coming well, out of retirement, Meneza, as it were, to get the team some points. And uh, hopefully this will have given her a taste and we'll see her in Rio trying to defend her Olympic title. It's a massive amount of strength to allow the arm to bend that much and straighten again. Try pressing out 133 <laughs> kilos overhead. It's, uh, it's quite, uh, quite a weight. Sazanovitz coming out for her opener. And there are four women still to join in. So Ryu expected to come at 142. Sazanovitz 135 here. Chen 140. And the young Kazakh has upped her opener to one. Four, five, Zhapakul. Sazanovic has brought her starting weight down by five kilos. Posted a 140 at the weigh-in. This is lower than that. Oh, her hands heavily taped. She may well have ripped a callus. That was easy. And that looked comfortable too. See, this athlete has her hands much closer than a lot of the lifters for the jerk. Maybe down to lack of flexibility, but just look how heavy her hands are taped, both of them. That makes gripping the bar quite difficult. That's why weightlifters don't wear gloves. Very, very solid. Still two lifts for uh, the Colombian, Solis Arbolida. Solid at 130, but really aggressive. And obviously fancies this one, 135. Her PB is 139, so we're still within that. Pan American champion. Yeah! 
Came off the ground a little awkward there. But <laughs> there's plenty of power to overcome that. Uh, it was off balance right from the start. Very uh, lopsided. That may be down to a muscle imbalance, maybe one side stronger than the other. But she was super strong overhead. Still works so hard. The bar really buries her at the bottom, uses the bounce to get straight out. Confident drive to arm's length. You have to put money on her jerking it if she can clean. Maneva, 135. Big, big personal best for her. Does she have the legs to stand? Oh, what a gutsy effort. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure she uh, ever truly believes she was going to come out and do that. She certainly gave it a good go, though. Well, the cleans just look hard from the first one to the second one to the third one. And I thought if she could stand with it, she'd have a good chance of jerking. But it just takes so much out of you when you have to work this hard. Drive slightly in front, not today. It was a good effort. So the top athlete still to come out is the Chinese. To come out and post her first clean and jerk. Well, we expected her out at 140. She did post a, a massive. Snatch first attempt and then brought it back and she's brought it back a little bit here with 138. But you'll see it'll take her up to a 256 total, which is what it's all about. That's ahead of Suzanovic. She'll go into the lead of the world championships with her opener right here, with two other lifters still to join. wrong with the jerk apart from continuous oscillation after the clean that was deliberate all the way through really would like to see the referees clamp down on this either that or scrap the rule altogether let's watch for bouncing of the bar here just how deliberate is it That's you can't key. when you're standing there for that long the bar easily comes to a rest for the bar to continue whipping the way it did that's deliberate. Yes, it's a grey area at the moment. Well, it isn't in the rules, but it is in terms of implementing those rules. It's a tricky one. And uh, well, I guess the referees are erring on the side of caution, as it were, and giving the benefit of the doubt to the lifters at the moment. Now, Solis Arbolida, 1-3-8. Over 300 pounds now. And uh, this actually takes her to uh, over double body weight, if my maths is correct. <laughs> ah, what a shame. She's a kilo down in her personal best, so it was doable. For the Pan American champion, she'll have to settle for 135, and uh, she's in third overall in the total. Then, and the two lifters still to join in, very likely to be bumped down off the podium. It'll be fifth or sixth overall in the end. Sixth place is where she finished last year. Just not as comfortable through the clean, really hits her hard at the bottom. Trying to recover from that dead weight hitting you is, is tough. Zapakul joins in, 140. And there was a time when it went to 145, but maybe that was just scaring the others. So, 140 it is. 118 in the snatch. Two kilos behind Ryu, the, key, the North Korean, from that discipline.
Well, that looked very convincing. I can see a lot more going up here today. Absolutely. And of course, she did 118 equal with Chen, though she was the heavier, so she's in third in snatch. Because of that, uh, that 140 has just given her the lead. She's on top at the moment. Uh, two kilograms ahead of Chen in the overall. Well, I just love how explosive this lift was. It was, if, you, if you're looking for textbook in terms of power and explosion, that was it. Well, following in the footsteps of Rim Yong Sim, the Olympic champion. She take the world title here. Big lift will certainly give her a good chance, and that was really comfortable. I mean, really comfortable. Goodness, there's a lot more there, I think, from what is the only junior in this competition. She's still 20 years old, but a junior, and uh, she could go a lot further here. Well, it's, it's kind of scary to see juniors lifting these kind of weights. And very precise, no messing around, no wobbling, knew exactly where she was going. Just watch the back, stays nice and strong throughout, really good extension. Quads are powerful muscle groups, but so are the glutes as well. We need both working together. She timed that bounce perfectly for the jerk. She didn't have to go that far apart with her legs, did she? Didn't have to go particularly deep. Zanovets of Belarus comes out for her second. Eight kilograms up from her first. Well, she keeps herself in contention. does indeed. I mean, that's a great way she just popped up there. Eight kilos up from her first attempt. Massive. Did one... Uh, it's been around the 140 mark for some time, though, so these are the weights we do expect from her in the clean and jerk. She's very solid at this discipline, and she's uh, moved herself up to second overall now from uh, fourth. Suddenly, uh, Chen of China's all the way down in fourth. Well, Susanovets has the highest clean and jerk as a personal best out of all of the girls in this group. 150. That is incredible. Now, uh, Chen, 143 she's going for here. The world record, just for your information. I'll double check it, actually. That says the Russian one there. I think it's gone up since then. Yes, 158, 157. I've got an old list here. 158 by uh, the other Chinese, Liu. And this is Chen. Okay, for one, four, three. Wow, that wasn't a particularly good effort there, and uh, we've seen she's a tough competitor from the snatch. I'm sure she'll come out and give the last one a go, but... Just spat her out the back, didn't it? Mm. Just watch, see what happened. Caught it on her shoulders. Not quite on her shoulders, a bit low on the right-hand side. And it literally will catapult you out if you're not in the right position under the bar. Well, that's a shame. She needed that lift to stay in contention. She only has one attempt remaining. And there is Ryu, the junior. She's come out and done 141. She's in the lead after the snatch with 120 kilograms, so she already has that going into this clean and jerk competition. And oh, see what's just happened on the scoreboard. One, Nicole four. Scarpa for 143. She's up to her next weight to 144. It's just put it straight back on to Chen, who now does not have that two minutes to recover. The clock will only be reset to one minute. The good thing is the previous lift won't have taken that much out of her because she didn't get very far through it. That's true, but it'll be playing in her mind. Well, hopefully not. She needs this. It'll take her to 2 6 1. And from fourth all the way to first. That was better. Works hard to stand up. Just the hands.
<laughs> and I just feel she deserves that. She's uh, fought very hard in this competition with some lifts. And that was tough to yeah. be spat out the way she was in her second lift. And then gets that one, nails it. And for fourth, right the way up into the lead of the World Championships then. Kept it bouncing at the bottom, used the momentum to stand. This was a really gutsy effort from a lifter right on her limit today. Zappa call. 1 4 4 on the bar. She's perfectly built for weightlifting. It's absolutely the right call of weight from the coaches. This will take her back ahead of Chen. Well, that was convincing. Needs to stand still, though. No, goodness me. Will somebody please have a word? She let go of the bar with her arms fully extended overhead, and quite rightly so. The referees have failed it. That is nothing more than a lapse of concentration, and her coach is not pulling her up on it after the snatch because she did exactly the same on the snatch. The rules say you have to keep your hands on the bar below shoulder height. Watch where she lets go of this. Yeah, you called it in the snatch. You said she's going to get in trouble for that. And look at this, yes. That's, ah. that's just silly. Absolutely silly. She's just thrown away a potential gold medal there at a World Championships. <laughs> she, she almost made a point of it by keeping her arms up there. I mean, it, was, it would be insulting to the referees almost if they... Uh, to the other competitors if they hadn't overturned that. So, Zanovitz. The discipline she loves. Has she got the strength? Oh, body quivering under the bar. It just takes so much out of you. The lifter only has a split second with the bar on the shoulders to get some oxygen in, steady themselves before the jerk. She only went up a kilogram there, so she obviously didn't have huge belief in her ability after the previous one. She did well to stand up with it. She does have this corkscrewing thing with the... When she stands up, must have some problem with her back or her hips. Struggling to get the oxygen in after the clean. So this is how it stands. One lift left then for this young Kazakh who, well, she's got a bronze from the snatch, but she's fourth in the clean and jerk. She's fourth in the overall. She's just done this weight and foolishly thrown it away. Literally dropped it, threw it from the top. She has to lower it back down below her shoulders so she can do this weight to take it from fourth back into first for the world title. Was forward. We know she's got a good jerk, but this is going. That's taken so much out of her. Oh my goodness, a little flex of the arms, but it's surely good enough, surely. And uh, <laughs> Just a question to the referees, <laughs> is that okay? I'm lowering it right down to the foot. Yes, that's okay, and that is a, a basic error that, that all athletes, all weightlifters should know. And wow. What was frustrating is that there might have been more there, a little bit more time had she got a chance to play a bit of cat and mouse with Ryu, who has two attempts left, the only competitor left, who's now bumped down to second. Has she done this lift on a second? She could have had a reply. One for seven, one for eight, maybe. It would have been possible. In the end, coming out so quickly again. I think she was lucky there to get one for four. She was right on her limit. So, this will take... Ryu back into first and give her the title. Only woman left in the competition. Oh, works hard. Look at that. Super easy overhead. And she's the first lady from the People's Republic of Korea to medal in any category over 58 kilos. So she's just made history for her country. She has, yes, at World Championships. They haven't had the success, of course, that they have had at the Olympic Games where Rim Yong Sim was a massive outsider when she came in and won the gold at the Olympics for world titles. They just haven't been doing well in the heavier weights. So this is really special for Ryu. And she's only a junior. We've got a lot 
of Ryu to look forward to over the next, who knows, decade. And what's she going to do left? She has one lift left, and it's a could be a fun one. Could she go up over 150? Does she fancy that? She's won the snatch, she's won the clean and jerk, she's won the total. Well, her best is 145, so she's just equaled that. I'm guessing this is nothing more than a PB attempt. Probably going to be looking at a 147. I doubt she'll go much heavier. That clean was very difficult. Yeah. To go all the way up to the world record, we're talking 158. That's a massive world record, actually, from uh, Liu Chonghong of China. And uh, do you know what she does so well in the jerk? She just times it perfectly, doesn't she? Just doesn't drop that much, but gets really makes the bar work, makes the whip on that metal, pings it back up off her chest. I swear she, having shorter arms is advantageous. If she cleans it, you'd have to fancy she'll jerk it. Personal best attempt, really sensible call from the coaches. She can't clean it, so we'll never know, but she's the world champion anyway. And uh, she did 120 in the snatch, 145 in the clean and jerk. And the two wins there also give her the win in the total. 265 kilograms, 265 for first, second place, 262. Zhapa Kul of Kazakhstan and Chen of China makes it onto the podium as well in third. Well, if uh, Rim Yong Sim ever to return to this weight category, she's got a tough opponent now in Ryu. 261 is what uh, Rim Yong Sim did at the Olympics as a total 115, 146. Well, Ryu just done 145 there to win the clean and jerk. Zhapakul second, Suzanovic third in this discipline. Chen just outside the medals, the Colombian down in fifth in the clean and jerk. But uh, of course, everyone is here for the total. That's the big one. Combination of the snatch and the clean and jerk. Here we are, world champion Ryu Unhui, People's Republic of Korea, 265, three ahead of Zhapakul of Kazakhstan, Mr. Silva and Chen of China, 261, a kilo ahead of the Belarusian. Further on down the order, Natasha Perdu of Wales, Great Britain, 203 with a 91-13. Good lifting from her.